All right, everybody. Uh, it's been a while since I have done one of these videos. So bear with me, okay? And let me tell you what I'm going to do. This is assignment A from the practice test uh, from Rika. And they give us a scenario here. And I, I've covered this before, but, but what I want to do is I want to run this through one of those AI programs and see what kind of answer it generates. It'd be really interesting to see. So I'm, so I'm going to do this experiment uh, with you uh, in mind. So here's the uh, scenario. A second grade teacher frequently uses the following strategy when working with struggling readers who are performing below the second grade fluency benchmark. The teacher selects a variety of supplementary texts that use a controlled vocabulary. Nearly all the words are high frequency sight words or easily decodable words. The teacher then has the students read these texts aloud quietly to themselves over a period of days as the teacher monitors their reading. Okay, that's the scenario. Uh, using your knowledge of reading fluency, write a response in which you identify aspects of fluency, accuracy, reading rate, or prosody. Uh, this instructional strategy primarily develops and explain how this instructional strategy promotes uh, development of the aspect you identified. Be sure to relate your response to the features of the instructional strategy described above. Okay, so what, I, what I'm going to do is take that question and dump it into uh, an AI uh, program to see just what, what happens, because uh, I'm really, really curious about that. And, and here I'm uh, in a program called HyperWrite. There are lots of them, but uh, I tend to like this one. Um, I'll do videos on it at another time uh, for... Uh, using templates. It's really pretty cool. But uh, out of all of the th things that you see on the screen, I mean, this is really too busy, to be honest with you. I'm going to go here to Flexible Auto Write. I, I, pr I probably found that by going into Templates right here and uh, found that Flexible Auto Write and then put a heart by it. And that's why it appears on my screen. But anyway, I just wanted to say that in case you want to try this uh, at home. Uh, so, okay, I'm going to click on Flexible Auto Write because it says use AI to help you with nearly anything, okay? Um, so here's what I did, is I copied the, uh, the text from this uh, publicly available uh, question, and I then uh, put it into my favorite uh, text editor program. You can use Notepad or whatever, and I just took the returns out and, and made it look pretty. And so I'll just control A on my computer and copy and I on a Mac I guess it's what commands command C I don't know but on mine it's a control V probably command V where you are and I'm just gonna paste that in and then I'm gonna click on auto right uh, and it's working to generate something so I would real I would just want to see what it what it comes up with um, because uh, this is really really pretty interesting so it's already generated the the responses okay and so what I want to do is uh, I want to I'm going to copy both of them. There's multiple copies, and uh, I'm just going to copy it and paste it into Word. And uh, let's see this one. I'll copy that one too. Why not? And I'll just do three of these and, and see what they see what they look like. Uh, because as a you know as a study aid, I'm just pasting them in here as you see. Uh, as a study aid, I think that this could be very useful if it's accurate. I've not done this before. This is my first, very first uh, maiden flight, uh, I guess, is the uh, inappropriate way to, uh, to explain uh, that or whatever. This is the uh, first voyage. How about that? This is the first step on the moon. Oops, I'm deleting stuff. So I just, all I'm going to do is just get rid of the bulb, man. That's it. Okay, so... Let's do this. I am going to need to bump that font up. Ooh, well, like this. I need to bump the font up uh, quite a bit, I would say. Let me go to the layout and let me go to the orient margins. There you go. There you go, Chris. Now you're now you're cooking with gas. Uh, let's see. There. Now I got that thing on one side, and what I want to put on this side, of course, is the the response. All right. So we can look at the response. I want to look at the response first. That's uh, that's really where uh, where I want to go. So uh, if that's the case, then uh, why don't we do that? All right, here we go. This says this instructional strategy primarily helps develop students' reading rate. The selected texts help support the development of reading rate because they use controlled vocabulary, primarily easily decodable words and high-frequency sight words. Okay. Um, 
Research shows that reading text with high readability is more effective in enhancing the reading rate than uh, when it is not controlled. All right, okay, great. Well, I, I want to I compare this with this. This instructional strategy, my God, it's like uh, primarily develops the student's accuracy and controlled rate by having the students read supplementary texts that use a controlled vocabulary the teacher can ensure that the students are not faced with words that are too challenging for them this allows them to focus on reading uh, the words accurately and at a rate that is comfortable for them additionally the teacher uh, monitoring the students as they read aloud quietly to themselves helps them to stay on track and identify any areas which in which they may be struggling. This helps develop accuracy and reading rate in a positive and encouraging environment. Wow. Okay, well, let's compare that with this thing here. This instructional strategy primarily helps students develop a reading rate. The selected text helps support developing reading rate because of the use of a controlled vocabulary, primarily easily decodable words and high frequency sight words. See, this is more precise than, than this essay uh, here. It, uh, it, this uh, is a strong, res what they would consider a, a strong response uh, in, uh, in, in this uh, um, essay right, uh, right here. But, um, and, and it even explains why. It's because it's, it's naming decodable words and high frequency sight words. And you don't see that in, in this one. This is one that's quite, quite general. Um, uh, and it says, uh, uh, research shows that reading text with, a highly read, with high readability is more effective in enhancing reading rate than what, when readability is not controlled. And so this one is talking about, um, this allows them to focus on reading the words accurately and at a rate that is comfortable for them. Additionally, the teacher is monitoring the students. We'll just leave that alone. So. Um, it's it, 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 again, I think this is a, just a little bit too general because let's look at what this says. The strategy also promotes reading rate because the teacher selects a variety of texts and, the, the, and has the students read them over a period of days. So this is another really important thing. Um, uh, it does say additionally, the teacher monitoring the students as they read quietly to themselves helps them to stay on track. So this is much more teacher uh, controlled. Uh, because it's the teacher who does the selecting and the teacher who is going to be monitoring them, I guess, over a period of days. Uh, this provides the students with repeated practice, reading the same words in a variety of contexts, which helps build their automatic recognition of words. Automaticity in word recognition is essential for developing reading rate, which enhances fluency. So I think that this response here is not as detailed as this one is. This is really almost a, 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 a way that you could carry this out, uh, the Rika response, a little more easily. But let's take a look at another one of their responses. Um, the instructional strategy described above primarily develops reading rate. That's really amazing because it's the same sentence here. Uh, this is because the teacher selects text, whoa, with a controlled vocabulary of mostly high frequency words and easily decodable words, which makes them easier and faster for students to read. This is, this is good. This is all AI. This is not me. This is AI. Wow. So I'm, I'm, I'm floored. As the students read the text aloud quietly to themselves, the teacher monitors the student's reading rate, providing feedback and corrective instruction as necessary. This helps the students increase their reading rate, which is essential for fluency. Additionally, the repetition of reading the same words over a period of days helps them reinforce and increase the students. This is really good. In fact, what I want to do is I, this one here, wow, that is something. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. I want to look at the evaluation of this response, okay? You know, if you want to pause and read it again, uh, you, you can, uh, but I'm, I'm just going to continue. Uh, this assignment assesses competencies in domain three. The response fulfills the purpose of the assignment by identifying the aspects of fluency, reading rate. Okay, the AI did that too. 
that is the instructional strategy primary that this instructional strategy primarily develops in explaining how the strategy promotes this aspect of fluency. So remember in Rika land, you got to justify, 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 and this does exactly that. Uh, the response reflects an accurate understanding of fluency through its uh, discussion of the role of appropriate text in, in supporting development of reading rate and the importance of building uh, automaticity and to enhance reading rate and fluency. Support for the uh, writer's argument is found in a clear explanation of factors that enhance reading rate. Uh, automaticity of word recognition. Okay, whoop de ding dong, right? But no, this really tells us, you know, what they're looking for. Uh, naming the focus of instruction, describing the instructional strategy and how it uh, develops fluency, and, uh, and, and that is all in, stated plainly in this section, and this response does that, but my friends, so does this one. I mean, really, for me, uh, this is really quite, uh, quite strong. Um, and, and so let's look at the last one. Okay, so anyway, like, like this one here, um, I would have to say that I don't think that that one's very strong. I think this is quite good, and it's really, really, really interesting. Uh, this instructional strategy primarily develops reading rate. Okay, so check that one off the list. By selecting supplementary text with a controlled vocabulary, the teacher is able to provide students with texts that are easier to decode, allowing them to focus on fluency and rate. I'm not really sold on this one uh, because it doesn't name decoding and sight words like this one does. This one is telling us uh, right here, controlled vocabulary, primarily easily decodable words and high frequency sight words. That's what makes that response strong, really strong. This one is only talking about easier to decode. It doesn't say anything about the, the sight words. But let me start again. Uh, this instructional strategy primarily develops reading rate check by selecting supplementary text with a controlled vocabulary. Mm, yeah. The teacher is able to provide the students with texts that are easier to decode. Okay. But I would also say decode and, and recognize sight words. Allowing them to focus more on fluency and reading rate. I, I would agree. By having the students read the text aloud quietly to themselves, the teacher can monitor their progress over a period of days. Wow, man. Uh, and provide the students with reading material that's easier to decode. The teacher is helping them. Yeah, this, is, this one's okay. Uh, I would say that that's okay. But out of all of them, this is the one that I think is the strongest because it mentions high frequency sight words and easily decodable words. So I'm going to just draw a line through that and, uh, and say that I think that this response right here, um, if I were to, you know, uh, do a little competition uh, or what have you, I, I would have to say that, uh, that I wish I could get rid of this thing right here. Give me a moment. And so, yeah, wow, well, huh? I had paused and here we are. Uh, anyway, so if I just line them up, this instructional strategy primarily helps students develop reading rate. This instructional strategy uh, described above primarily develops reading rate. And, and they just use the language of the, 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 the question. And that's a great strategy, you know, because then it helps you to focus too. Uh, the selected texts help support development of reading rate because they use a controlled vocabulary, primarily easily decodable words and high frequency sight words. Okay, let's start from here. This is because, okay, we're, again, it's uh, about uh, primarily develops reading rate. This is because the teacher selects text with a controlled vocabulary of mostly high frequency sight words and easily decodable words, which makes them easier and faster for students to read. This is really quite good. Now, they do mention re research shows that reading text with high readability is more effective in enhancing the reading rate than when text readability is not controlled. So again, you know, this is more supportive. They don't put a citation in there. Um, that comes from Samuel John, uh, Johnson, uh, or Samuels, not Samuel Johnson, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Samuels. Uh, he's the one who did the groundbreaking stuff with, uh, with fluency. Uh, so anyway, uh, I, would have, uh, I would have cited it. Uh, they say in here, as the students read aloud quietly to themselves, the teacher monitors the student's reading rate, providing feedback and corrective instruction as necessary. And, and Rika likes teacher-dominated, uh, or teacher-supervised, let me put it that way, teacher-supervised um, instruction. 
The teacher selects the text. The teacher monitors the students. This helps the students to increase their reading rate, which is essential for fluency. That's a lot like saying that in here. Uh, additionally, the repetition of reading the same text over a period of, of days helps reinforce the words, increasing the student's fluency on those words and phrases. And so this really is a, is a good response. It really is. Let's look at what they said. The strategy also promotes reading rate because the teacher selects a variety of these texts and has the students read them over a period of days. That's pretty equal with the, what's here. Uh, this provides students with repeated practice reading the same words in a variety of contexts, which helps build their automatic rec recognition of words. Now, they do use uh, like some 10 cent or 25 cent words in here, like automatic word recognition and automaticity in word recognition is essential for developing reading rates. So they got the jargon in there. This this is a little less jargon rich, but I still think that that this would score pretty high. Uh, on the uh, on the quiz the test so anyway there that I did it that's what I wanted to do and I think I'll do it again with other questions this is kind of this is absolutely fascinating thanks for watching